Good morning, boys and girls. Hi, it is Miss Jill from Bright Start for Kids, and I am excited that you're here. Hey, we're gonna be learning about bees. It is springtime, and this is the perfect time to go outside and see all the things that are happening, especially with insects. And one of those insects is bees, and boy, they sure help us out. Did you know that bees are the only insects that actually make food for us? Do you know what that food is? Ha, huh, good, some of you got that. Yeah, it's honey. They actually make honey that we can eat, and it's actually good for us. So let's start our welcome song, and then we'll get started with learning about bees. Ready? Good morning, good morning, we're glad that you are here today. Good morning, good morning to you. My name is Miss Jill, what's your name? <laughs> good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Good morning, I'm so glad that you're here. Hey, you might have been watching this during the afternoon or even at nighttime, but hey, we still do the good morning song. So let's get started. I wanna tell you some fun things about bees. And I actually took a video of some bees in my backyard today. So I wanted to show you that too. Okay, let's tell you a little bit about bees. Bees are part of the insect family. They're also called bugs. And insects, different than spiders, they have three body parts. You can see there's one body part here, one body part here, one body part here. You can see they have two antenna, antennas, one and two. It's kind of like our ears, but they have antennas. They have two eyes, one, two eyes. And on a bee, they're really big. I'm gonna show you a picture of that in a second. They have six legs. Now spiders have eight legs, but bugs and insects have six legs. And you can count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they have very beautiful wings. If you ever see a bee up close, they have very big, beautiful wings. Now, one thing they have that some people don't like is they have a little stinger down here, and that stinger is actually to protect them, but if you bother them, they might actually come up to you and sting you. That's why when you see bees, you have to kind of keep away from them. It's really good to look at them, but not bug them because they may think you are trying to attack them and they will come and sting you. And when you get stung, you might get a little bump there and it might hurt for a little while. And your mom and dad might have to take a little tweezer and take that stinger out. I am actually allergic to bumblebees, so when I see bees, I have to be very careful to make sure that I don't get stung by them. So isn't that neat how wonderful bees are? Now I wanna show you these bees up really close. These are actually real bees, and you can see the wings and the legs, and this one down below with the purple flower is really working hard. They're working to get all of the things that they need. Hey, I wanna teach you guys a cute song. It's called Bringing Home My Baby Bumblebee. And it goes like this. Take your hands and cusp them together. You go, I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up that baby bumblebee. Oh, yuck. I'm wiping off that baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping up that baby bumblebee. Look, mom! No more bumblebee. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play a game called Let's Count 10 Bees. I want you to look at all the bees and I want you to find number one. Go ahead and go up to the camera and point to number one. Where is it? Did you point? Right, it's right there. There's number one. All right, I want you to find number two. Good, this is number two. All right, 
Go ahead and point to number three. Very good. Can you find number four? No. 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 There it is, way up on top. Can you find number five? There it is, number five. Where is number six? There it is, number six, hiding in there. Where's number seven? Hmm, I don't even see a bee. Oh, I see the wings of the bee right there. There you are hiding. Where's number eight? Good, number eight. And where's number nine? Hanging out by a rainbow. And the last one, number 10, it's hiding in there. There it is, number 10. Very good, awesome guys. Okay, so our activity today is we're going to make a bumblebee with these beautiful wax paper wings. And if your parents don't have wax paper, they might have parchment paper. So you can actually cut this out. Wax paper is something you use in cooking. So it's probably in your parents' kitchen. So ask them about that. So you're gonna take a piece of yellow paper or white paper and have your parents draw you a oval. And then with your scissors, remember, let me show you about the scissors. You always take your thumb and put it in the small hole. You take two fingers and put it in the big hole. And we practice being a duck, quack, 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 or even a crocodile, big, like that, okay? And then what you do is you start on the line and you always wanna make sure that your hand is off to the side, not near, because some kids like start cutting like right here and then their hand's way too close. No, you wanna hold it a little bit farther apart. And then you just wanna stay on the line and some you can go quack, 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 all the way around. Staying on the line, doesn't have to be perfect. And where does this go? No, not on the floor. No, not handing it to your parents. No, not giving it to your brother or sister to throw away. No, you take it and put it in the trash. <laughs> That's being a busy bee, yeah. So when you have that all done, then you're going to take a marker and you're going to do the best you can to make lines across. Do you see how Miss Jill did the black lines? And then I made two little eyes. And if you want to, you can actually put it on your table and you can take your markers or a crayon and you can fill in every other part to make the stripes. And then you'll have your bumblebee. <laughs> 